All right, folks, common sense solution from a common sense guy. As we all know, we have veterans coming back from the Middle East after serving in, in uh, you know, Afghanistan and Iraq, um, doing security, securing borders, doing combat, dealing with unsavory types. And they're coming back and, uh, you know, they're having difficulties finding meaningful employment. Um, we know that uh, so many of these people are dying, waiting to get into the VA for medical and, and mental health treatment. You know, we know this. And you know what else we know? That our government is taking billions of dollars from the American people and building little love compounds for all the illegal aliens, you know, streaming across our borders. They're building these beautiful little lavish compounds, these resort cities, and educating them, feeding them, providing health services, lawyers, everything. We're giving it all to them. Meanwhile, the American veteran, they're dying, waiting on lists at the VA. They're not being taken. You know, I get so pissed off over this. Here's my solution. Let me get to my solution. How about instead of spending one damn nickel, not one damn nickel, not a dollar, not a dime, nothing. Instead, before you spend one damn more nickel, I'm providing a single damn service for people who have violated our sovereignty, who have come into this country illegally. Meanwhile, we turn our backs on our veterans. Why don't we take these compounds, these resorts, that have medical facilities, that have education facilities, that have pools and everything, why not give these veterans and these veterans, maybe families, a place to live and employ the veterans with the Border Patrol to do border security? They were securing borders in Iraq and Afghanistan. Why the hell can't we use them to secure our borders? These are people that love their country, that serve their country. Let them serve the home front here. Let them protect us from foreign invaders. And that's what these people are coming from Central and South America and, 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 and Mexico and, and, and you know, people you know, from other countries trying to sneak through Mexico into the United States. You know, why? What is, is that not the most common damn sense thing you've ever heard? Help a veteran. These people love America. They've sacrificed everything. So, my God, doesn't it break your heart to see your Wounded Warrior uh, Foundation on TV asking for donations to help wounded warriors, to help soldiers who have been disabled? You know, I, I, I see these commercials, and it sickens me that they have to beg for help. Yet, we could find hundreds of millions and billions of dollars to help people who just break our laws to come here. What the hell's the matter with that? Do we not? I don't get it. You know, and God bless all these people with these organizations. But why do we need them? Why? I mean, I know why we need them. But why is it in, in the United States of America, why are our veterans begging for help? I'll tell you what, I'll, and I'll tell you why. It's those sons of bitches in Washington. And that's both Republican and Democrat. You know, Paul Ryan, that piece of shit, he can drag his carcass back up the scrums. Don't tell me, oh, yeah, well, we got all this great stuff. Oh, yeah, we can, we can export oil now for the first time in forever. So what? Damn, really, Paul? The price, I don't know if you noticed, Mr. I'm an economic super guy. You know, I don't know if you noticed, what's how good is oil exports when the oil price is in the toilet and they're saying it's going to continue to be in the toilet? The Americans can't even afford to produce the oil now. If you haven't noticed, Mr. Paul Ryan, Mr. Rescue, bunch of rhino establishment retards, the price of oil is in a crapper. And a lot of these people, the oil industry is struggling now. Exporting cheap oil isn't going to help anybody. Okay? So, yeah, ooh, big victory. The back to the veterans, back to the people that don't matter. You know, it, 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 back to the people that matter. When I say don't matter, I don't want to talk about Paul Ryan and Barack Obama. Those are the people that don't matter. Those are the sons of bitches that have broke this system. People, I'm telling you, I don't, I, I don't think a reasonable person, Democrat or Republican, can disagree with what I'm saying here. If you do, you're not a reasonable person. Okay, you're, you're a radical. That's what you are. And I got to tell you. 
Yeah, the hell with Marco Rubio as well, by the way, and old Jabito Bush. The hell with those people. But I'm sorry, this isn't about that. This is about a solution. I, if you agree with what I'm saying, call your congressman, call your senators, and say, not one damn dime more. Quit spending money on illegals and housing them and feeding them and educating them. Zero. Help our veterans. They've earned it. They deserve it. They deserve better. We can do better. We have to be better. And my solution makes sense. I guarantee you, most of those men would love to come back here and work for their country again. Continue to work for their country. They've never quit. And their, and their wives and children, I mean, I think we can learn a lot from these these wounded warriors and their wives and families. I think we can learn a lot from them, and I think we should. And I don't I, I don't know what else to do other than raise awareness. And I do call my congressman, and I call these candidates, and I urge them talk about this stuff. You know, let's put our veterans back to work. Let's get our veteran veterans housing. Let's get our you know veterans health care. Let's give them what they deserve. You know, and and in return, look, I would say none of those guys are looking for a handout, okay? They'll earn, you know, what they're going to get paid, and they don't mind. It just so happens they're going to do it serving our country and securing our border, and we'll be a better country because of it, you know? So, folks, I'm urging you, if you agree with me, write your kind. I, I want to hear back from somebody, you know? Uh, this is just too important of a topic. This is this is one thing we can all get together on. You know, who deserves more? The veteran who's already sacrificed for this country or the illegal I immigrant? I I no, illegal alien who's violated our sovereignty, who's coming here to take advantage of what we have. So that's that's what it is. Those who would take advantage of what we have to offer and those who have earned it. You tell me who's more deserving. And if you think it's the illegal alien, then you go watch some of those commercials on the Wounded Warrior Project. You watch that man who had a traumatic brain injury and he shakes every day and he's getting some therapy. And I mean, my heart goes out to him and his mother who helps him every day. I mean, I got to tell you, I'd almost be embarrassed to be in front of those people. They gave it. Yeah, I just do something about it. Okay. Stop watching this. Go to your computer, call your congressman, all right? Just do that. Thanks.